Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful day here on a rancho in Mexico. So today, me and my husband finally made the decision to go get the mixer, the cement mixer. They were doing it by hand for the last couple of days and we're like, let's go do it. So we are taking a trip out, out to one of my favorite places, Ototanico. So I'm gonna bring you guys outside because he's trying to change, um, I think it's called the hitch on the cars, and then we are gonna head out. You ready? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Little stinkers. All right. I love that my husband's back and I don't have to drive anymore, but that also means that I'm the gate opener all the time. All right, you guys, we are almost out to Ototanico, um, and we are gonna look into one specific store that had a couple different cement mixers. Hopefully we find the one we need in there. If not, we're gonna look around a little bit more, but we're pretty close now, about five minutes away. All right, guys, so we are at our first place to look at cement mixers, but look at all the houses up here. Isn't that beautiful? Is that so pretty. Mixer? Yeah, that's a cement mixer. We'll see. I don't know if that's the one daddy's gonna get. I think he it's just, really big. It's I like, think. I don't know. <gasps> oh, look at it. Oh, <laughs> oh he's so cute. All right, you guys, so um, he's talking to the person up front right now, and they're just a little over $1,000 USD. So, and they're brand new, and then they have a three-year warranty. Um, so, I don't know, you guys. We're going to have to really think about it because that's a lot of money. Um, and then that's money we're taking away from building our home, so... Oh, we just, we got to think about it. It is good, though, because nobody in the ranch has one of these. Um, so it will be nice that we'll be able to use it for our home, and then we'll be able to rent it out. So it's another income for our family, which is something we need here in Mexico. Um, so we're going to think about it, and I'll see what, see what my husband says. 
And look at the girls don't really care. They just want to play with the puppy. <laughs> Oh. How do you know they're brand new? This right here is just because they stand them up. Yeah. Yeah, like look at the engine. All right, so my husband's gonna go in real quick and talk to them because there was another store up the road selling um, cement mixer so we're gonna see how much they're selling it for up the road and if they can offer a three-year warranty um like this place can so we're just gonna see and ask real quick Hi. Whoop. Um, so that's what the inside Mom? oh yeah that's why i kept this ponytail for you can you put my oh that would terrify me i know i don't like snakes yeah oh, All right, this is our next step. stop, you guys. And here's the other cement mixer we're gonna look at. A little bit smaller than the other one, right? Oh, they have mini welders. All right, you guys, so this one was 37. Mil pesos, um, a lot more than the other one. The difference was though, it came with a six year warranty. The other one was cheaper, but it just came with a three year warranty. All right, so we're back to these ones. Now we're just trying to figure out how we're gonna get it to um, the car. <laughs> gonna have to stay here where they get it in. Cause look at there's a parking spot right there. Yeah, there's a parking spot over there, but um, we'll see. <laughs> it's always an adventure in Mexico. Okay, we don't know how we're gonna get this into the car. Cause like our trunk is like like really big. Uh huh. Like, it's huge. It's huge. I'm like, Oh. <laughs> okay. I think the guys who are working on um, with us from the rancho are gonna be so excited to have um, a mixer. They were, they were using like a tire, like, like probably like the size of that door right there. Yeah. And it was like a tire, okay? And they would put like um, like cement stuff in it, and then they would pour water in it, and then they would by hand, if, and you gotta mix for a long time. Like, yeah, and then the people had to get a bucket and then go like, and then pull it down. And Annabelle, is it almost your birthday? Yes. So we were just talking about Annabelle's birthday photo shoot. I give each of my kids a photo shoot every year. And Annabelle didn't want one. Annabelle, want one. no, Annabelle no, didn't. Party. Annabelle doesn't want to party, but she likes her photo shoots. We're just trying. She wants to go to a hotel. Maybe, um, and we're trying to think of the theme for her photos. She loves horses, horses. so maybe vaquera. Yeah, but I want a horse in the background. I mean, Somehow, some way, God will provide a horse for us, huh? My All friend, right. My oh. has a horse, Jennifer. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe she'll just borrow it. Here comes Dad. Okay, so my husband was telling me they put um, gas and oil in it because they they have to start it in front of you to yeah, make sure. To make sure it works. Right. I thought they were just doing it to be nice. Sí. <laughs> <laughs> Grease 
settings? Yeah, you're supposed to grease those, those that one right there. Okay. Look, like the other one that we've seen over there, the Fiat didn't have those grease fittings. Oh, okay. So that's probably a good thing. Yeah. Now you want to keep that looped up. It's, if you don't, that's just going to grind away the metal. Ah, okay. And this guy is just showing my husband um, some of the adjustments you can make, right? He just showed me how to start it. A lot of people um, just aren't familiar with Honda engine. I've actually bought like, the, the, both the weed whackers that we have um, and some or the lawnmower and some other things that I have already bought from you. Right. So they started it up um, and they adjusted some things. Yeah, it ran. I mean, what you're seeing, smoke. My, my wife is concerned about the smoke, but I mean, it, it's freshly painted, so the paint's gonna eventually burn off. Um, yeah, that's all normal things. I, I don't tell her. I don't think anybody else, any other shop around here, would have started it. You know I mean, and did all the stuff that he did to it for us. Right. So my you don't put gas in it. Right, put gas in it, oil. So if you guys are ever out in Ototanico, this is the place to stop at. We went to a couple other stores and I didn't know this, but my husband has bought from here before and he said the equipment's really reliable. So I'm really excited for our workers, you guys. I feel like our workers are just gonna be so happy. <laughs> I can't wait to show them. And here is our guarantee. And now my husband, um, I think he just needs to strap it down. <laughs> Annabelle. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> She's not stuck. She's messing around. <laughs> you little stinker. You're a stinker. Alright, so he's wrapping it around there and then we're gonna hook it to the other side. You got it? Wonderful. Hey guys, we got what we needed. Look at that. Oh, what a blessing. All right, you guys, heading home. All right, you guys, my husband had to pull over because he is doing another strap um, for the cement mixer. All right, you guys, we have to pull over because the strap is coming off of the um, the cement mixer and we don't want it to flip over. Yeah, that might be a better idea. It looks like they're using a cement mixer as well to make um, a bigger building. So that's pretty cool. Does that feel better? Well, I mean, at least we're gonna be on the slow road soon. Hopefully not. 
literally just got out of Ototanico. We still have a ways to go to get back home, but luckily the faster road right here, um, we're almost to the end of it, and the rest of the way is back road. So we can go slow and we can pull over if we need to, but this thing was pretty loose, you guys. It's like nerve wracking to get it back home. Luckily, I have a good husband who knows how to put straps on and everything else. And Cristiano knows as well. I'm sure if I was out here and my husband was in the States, if Cristiano was with me, he'd know how to do all this. Lalo, what do you think that little like thing out there is? What thing? The thing that looks like um a dog house. Oh, and it has oh, some yeah. no, it has like a yeah, No, I don't know what that is. That's weird. Oh. back home. Oh, thank goodness we are back home. I am going to get changed real quick. I'm going to clean up the house, take a siesta, and then all of us are going to go for our evening walk, you guys. All right, you guys, we are back home. I changed up and we are going to go for our evening walk. And Abby was just back here dancing with Penelope, I'm gonna show you guys real quick, but we're gonna head out for our walk and we're gonna take you guys with us. I don't know how to explain it, but like at this time of day, it smells so good in our rancho. Like everybody's cooking, it's just like all these smells fill the air. Okay, it looks like we're going to go get something called a um, mango nada. Mango. You A. Uh huh. No, M A. Uh huh. The letter that goes like this. I don't know what it's called. And then O. Okay. And then mango. And then N A. Uh -huh. Duh. And then D A. Duh. Done. Careful. 
¿Cuánto? 15 pesos. 15 pesos. Muchas gracias. A ver. Let me see yours, Abby. All they had was tamarindo, so we didn't get mango. I did. Kind of like chai, chamoy now. Aww. Carefully, he's going to bark. Oh, he's a big guy. A lot of people here in Arancho put um, plants along their fence line, and I don't know why that's so beautiful to me. I love when they do that. You guys, look at these cute little sheep. Look at them. I'll give you a look if you want them. Hi, babies. Such a refreshing day, isn't it? Not too hot. There's a little bit of a cold breeze. And even here in our rancho, in fall, and especially in winter, it gets pretty cold out. But I like Dad, that. It feels so good. This yeah. This is where Prince lives. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, Prince, I saw this old thing, and then I remember I saw the name Prince on there right on that floor, so she can ride it around. Yeah, I want to go to that one. I want to go off of that floor. Abigail, you don't even know how bad it would hurt to fall off one of those cows. <laughs> We're not sure why because rainy season is over, but the water is higher than it was during rainy season. Yeah, rainy season's done in the water. Right, and it's um, it's higher than it was in rainy season, which is crazy like when we were going on Toto Tanico we could not believe how high the water was there was like three yeah there's something back there so. oh my word yeah cars used to be able to go down here but look how deep um deep these are we're passing the secondaria and it's in la tarde that's like the older kids and they all drive their dirt bikes to school all of them, but some of them do. Mom, look, I have like a blonde piece of hair. Let me see. Oh. Hi. Hi. Guys, I have said this a couple times before, but you never trust chihuahuas in Mexico. Lalo, save me! <laughs> <laughs> they got loose and that lady up there is calling for them to come back in <laughs> oh no <laughs> okay so abby just ran when the chihuahuas came out and all of a sudden I'm like where's abby and she's like so far ahead <laughs> no no they cannot eat that I love when these come into bloom. I don't know what they are, but they are so pretty. Don't, Annabelle. We've talked about pulling um, flowers off of things. We won't do that. Guys, this is what my daughter has to make in school for, um, for Day of the Dead. You make them with the ribbon we bought. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but our, her, yours looked bigger than that, but maybe not. Watch our, our flowers turn out like whoop, and like. Oh no, Abby, one thing about Abby is she is very crafty. It will be absolutely beautiful. Where are you going? 
No, I thought Abby's going in the store. Guys, it always looks so pretty at night. Look at the moon. Annabelle. Okay. All right, you guys, so little tiendas in the rancho, they're not opened all day. These little stores, they only open in the morning and in the evening. So I'm going to show you what they have in here. Hola, Chio. husband really wanted this it's called Munde and they have a strawberry kiwi flavor but she didn't have it here ready thank you look at baby puppy all the street dogs get together at night and hang out oh there's another one over there and they all just play with each other it's the cutest thing you guys so it's late and normally the butchers isn't open but look at it's open right now because they're making longanisa it's their secret recipe how you know you're getting fresh meat, fresh chorizo. All this will be gone in, Lalo, how many days? Who all this? Uh... Wow, this will be gone by Sunday. So about three days and all this chorizo, the whole ranch will come and buy it. So fresh, wow. so they made it all tonight and then it'll go in the refrigerator in the back with the rest of the meat and she'll bring it out again in the morning. Well, that's it doesn't get much fresher than this, you guys. This is so cool. Wow. Buenas noches. <laughs> so that's one of like the cool things about living in the rancho, you guys. You get to see where you're getting all your food from. And when I lived in the United States, I used to get my chorizo from um, Walmart. They would just sell it in the packages in the Hispanic section. Look and now, oh, if it jumps at me, I will run for my life. Okay, come on. No, Annabelle. <laughs> and I feel like it's raining or this bag is leaking. <laughs> now here in Mexico, I get fresh, wonderful chorizo. It just tastes so much different, you guys. You know what's crazy? Depending on on the person's mood that's making it. It'll yeah. either come out very spicy or mild or not spicy at all. Right. I like it when it's more spicy. All right, we're almost home, guys. All right, you guys, we are back home. I am already in my pajamas. I'm so ready for bed. Thank you, everybody who watches. Please, if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, and I love hearing where you guys are watching from. Everybody have a really beautiful good night.